This tutorial video will demonstrate how to open and use a quote page in Ensign. Click the Quote button on the main ribbon to view a quote window. A quote window can be used to develop custom quote pages, access charts, display a ticker tape, and view time and sales. A button bar at the bottom of the quote window is used to select vendor pages. These pages display the current price for every symbol collected from a vendor. These symbols are listed in alphabetical order. The buttons show two letters to indicate the vendor, such as FX for the FXCM feed, IB for interactive brokers, and ES for eSignal. The symbols on the vendor pages come from the symbol lists on the Setup Feeds form. To access the Setup Feeds form, click the Setup ribbon and click the Feeds button on the Setup ribbon. Add or remove symbols by editing the Setup Feeds symbol list. Custom quote pages, on the other hand, are used to place a variety of symbols on one page. Symbols on a custom page can be in any order. The custom button and the adjacent drop-down list box are used to display and create custom quote pages. Custom quote pages are created by typing a new name in the custom quote drop-down list box. For example, to create a custom quote page named Stocks, click the mouse in the drop-down list box and type the word Stocks. Press the Enter key to complete the entry. The page will be cleared in preparation for symbols to be entered and arranged on the new page. A new tab labeled Stocks will appear at the bottom of the quote page. The tabs are used to quickly display different custom quote pages. Click on the Custom button to display the custom quote page shown in the drop-down list box. This selection can be changed using the drop-down arrow. There are two ways to enter symbols on a custom page. The first way is to select symbols on a vendor list and click the Transfer button. Several adjacent symbols from a vendor page can be selected by dragging the mouse over the group and clicking the Transfer button. The second way to add symbols is to select the custom page and click the Add Symbol button. The entry window permits the selection of a vendor. Select a vendor and manually type in the symbol. Press the Enter key. The symbol will then appear on the quote page. Close the form when you are finished entering symbols. Rows can be rearranged by dragging vertically in the first column. Columns can be rearranged by dragging the column title left to right. A column title can be changed by double-clicking on the title and picking one of the available quote fields. Right mouse click to display a pop-up menu with selections for deleting custom quote pages, adjusting column widths, and sorting the symbols on a custom quote page. Click the Properties button to open the Quote Properties panel. Here you can configure the quote page colors and click the Video button on the Properties form for training on quote page properties. A chart can be opened from a quote page by selecting the symbol and clicking the Times panel button. Click one of the time buttons to open a chart in the selected time frame. Time and sales are shown by selecting a symbol and clicking the T button on the toolbar.
This concludes this training segment.